My passion? My passion is education. Um, I probably say that I eat, sleep and breathe education. So uh, not only do I have this school, um, but I also have my own consulting company too. And I've uh, been a teacher for now 20 years, an educator. Um, started in the public system and then from there kind of fell into the world of brain injury actually because I have a specialist in special education. Um, worked in brain injury and still do. Um, I've traveled across the province into 20 different school boards, uh, countless private schools, universities, colleges, um, helping kids with special learning needs, brain injury, and just kids in general, right? Just to, who need an extra hand and families too, regardless of whether they're independent schools or, or public schools. Um, you notice gaps, right? We can't do everything for everyone, right? We can't possibly. Um, and, you know, I, don't, I mean no disrespect to educators out there, you know, everybody's doing their best and with what they're given. But in going across the province into all these schools and noticing those gaps, I wanted to be a part of the solution a little bit, offer something more, um, something more than the school system possibly could. Um, and that's how Glen Oak, the idea was, was formed. And um, it kind of kept percolating in my brain and, I got some experience in, in other areas, similar um, similar industry obviously in school and um, working on a board of directors for another um, organization and uh, took my principal's qualifications and then finally I just said I really need to do this and I really need to put something out there for, for kids and families. So I did. Just bridge a gap, right? Help some kids that are below grade level, help some kids that are above grade level and come together as one family. Um, that, you know, it's about respect and meeting kids where they're at and building relationships with those families too because I think that it's, it starts with your family, it starts with the centre of all of that and then when they feel secure, their kids feel secure and then you have a beautiful um, situation at the school. I'm not a proponent of the word regular or normal um, or ordinary because, you know, what's normal? Normal's in quotes, regular is in quotes. Um, we are all special, we all have special needs. We all have things that we want to be taken into account um, when we're learning or when we're doing things that are meaningful to us. Um, so at Glen Oak, what we try to do is we dial it back um, in terms of class sizes so that we know as educators and professionals that we can reach and teach the kids that are in our classrooms. And we know that because we're not managing um, uh, classrooms of 25, 30, 35 students. We're managing a classroom that has 12 students in it at a maximum and we have EA support when we need that for some of the students that do need require that support. We have resource support for other students that require that support. Or then we have other students that are just within the mix that just need a different environment. They need a quieter environment. They need a more supportive environment, a more intimate environment and we provide that, right? So. We're all quote unquote normal, right? And we all, but we all have special needs at the same time. I am absolutely honored to have every single student that is in this school to this, and will be in this school. Um, I have seen students come to me who have just, um, all, I don't know if the system has given up on them, but hasn't seen the potential. And we've seen the potential. And those students have met the, that potential and more. We've taken that bar that was here and we've raised it to here and the students are still reaching further and achieving further and I'm really proud about that. I'm really proud of that and I'm really proud that um, we are a team that has that vision collectively and that we have parents that also see and understand our vision and support us in that vision and achieving those goals for our kids. We have created programs for one student that in turn has now rippled into three and four and five students because it's a good fit not just for that one student but for other students um, in the community as well, which is wonderful to see that we're finally uh, finding parents and families that come to us and say, finally there's an option. An option that nobody else could give us, but you've been able to do it for us. Thank you. And that makes my job worthwhile.